Another titan has just been confirmed in the movie Godzilla x Kong The New Empire. It's all over the internet, even images of this new kaiju. With the confirmation of this new titan, we can figure that Mothra won't show up in the Monsterverse anymore. So join me in this video because we've got a lot to discuss. Welcome back to Nerd Insights, your daily dose of nerdy news. If you search on YouTube, Reddit, or Twitter, you'll see what I'm talking about. Images of new titans that'll appear in Godzilla x Kong The New Empire leaked recently and Warner Brothers is pretty upset about these leaks, trying to figure out who's behind them. It's getting as wild as the Deadpool 3 leaks, so I won't show the image, but I'll tell you about this Titan and how it impacts the film and the Monsterverse overall. Don't forget to drop a like on this video and subscribe because we bring nerd news every day. You don't want to miss out. Subscribing keeps you in the loop. Sorry folks for not showing the image. Things are getting messy with these leaks. I'm even deleting some videos where we guessed right, like the Kong's Gauntlet or the Godzilla Evolve toys, cause there's no point anymore. Once it's out there, you know it's gonna circulate. Still I'll give you the lowdown on these new kaiju, how they'll impact the monster verse, and why their presence nudges Mothra out of Legendary's upcoming projects. The Titan that leaked this time, I believe it's called Phosphora, it's a winged kaiju, but it's nothing like Mothra, there was confusion, some thought it was a blatant Mothra copy, but nah, they're way different, people got mixed up between Phosphora and Mothra, but it's crystal clear, they're not even close, Mothra seems way larger than this titan, which looks more bat-like than a butterfly, so no doubts, Mothra ain't in the movie, sadly, this kaiju looks more bat-like, with a body, legs, arms, and wings sprouting from its back, it's kinda like the Ion Dragon, but the Ion Dragon's got darker colors, Phosphor's orange silver with wings that shimmer like a rainbow, just like those leaked colors of its feathers way back, this changes the game for Godzilla x Kong the New Empire cause we heard a divine kaiju would help Kong and Godzilla in the final battle, we thought it might be Mothra, even found a sketch in the trailer, but now, it's confirmed she's out cause Phosphor's in, so Phosphor's aiding Godzilla and Kong in the final showdown, this elevates Phosphor to a divine titan, likely revered and powerful in the film, legendary sticking to their original titans, not tapping much into Toho's roster, keeping Mothra cocoon longer, possibly for centuries, we might never see Mothra in the monsterverse as we know it, getting into the theories now, perhaps this scene is when Phosphor is freed, maybe it's not captivity, just hibernation, we're not sure if that's really her in that crystal in the Godzilla x Kong the New Empire trailer, but by the end of the film, it's likely that Jia will somehow help free this titan, straight to helping Kong and Godzilla, she may be powerful, but she ends up sacrificing herself just like Mothra. After her, the folks in the Hollow Earth won't have reason to stay hidden. Coming up to the surface, they know secrets about the Hollow Earth, stuff from millions of years ago when Kaijus ruled. Despite being cool, Phosphor is pretty ugly, to be honest, like a skinnier, stretched out ion dragon, probably on purpose. But I wanna know your thoughts. Did you like this new confirmed kaiju? What do you think about its role? Comment below. And yeah, subscribe to this channel. We've got nerdy news every day that you'll dig. Take care and catch you next time.